Hey guys, welcome to another session from OnlineMoneyBee.com. In this session, I am actually going to show you how to set up a Bing Ads PPC campaign with the ad type expanded ads. Now, if you have seen my previous video, I have set up a complete campaign using the direct linking, which means I just use this hop link that is provided from this ClickBank and ran a PPC campaign without any need for a landing page. Now, it's not optimal, but there could be many reasons why you don't want to use a um, lander page or you don't want to own a domain. Now, if you are like me and if you wanted to continue Bing PPC with the direct linking, stick on with me, guys. Bing Ads has actually done some changes in their platform and they stopped their support towards text ads. Now, what's up with us if they are stopping text ads? What's going to impact us and why are we now here to understand and why should we start doing expanded ads now i'll try to answer all those questions stick on with me and i'm going to show you how to do this uh, as easy as possible and avoid the loss of affiliate commissions even to a penny okay now let me get on to my bing ads platform so, so that i can show you what's there and what's changing now so if you guys see this, uh, this is my test campaign that I'm going to show you. Now, if you see here, this is the old campaign that I was running from my previous video. The moment I came here, I could see the banner indicating me that after July 31st, they are stopping the text ads. Now, if you want to retain your old text ad, you can just click on no thanks, keep this uh, text ad for now, and then you can let it continue. Bing hasn't officially given any confirmation that they will migrate existing text ads. They haven't communicated about that yet. So now they are suggesting to make sure that we run expanded ads parallel to text ads so that it will be easy when we have to completely shut down the text ads. Now, if you want to understand what's coming up with expanded ads, you can simply click on learn more and you can uh, clearly understand what all the changes and what are all the benefits that we are going to get with expanded ads. Now, one of the key challenges that I had when we started off this expanded ads is uh, the moment you change to expanded ads, you see here, this is the hop link that we used to get from ClickBank. Now, in this case, this is a PRFly offer. So the URL is a little different. But if you observe here, this is showing here as a different label than what it's supposed to be showing as, right? So in this case, it should be showing technically as Horizon Gold Services. Now let me show you my other ad. So if you see here, it, so it shows Horizon Card Services because this is in text ad format. You can actually see that my, ad, uh, my display URL is actually shown here. And my final URL is something that is hidden from the visitor. But with expanded ads, the problem is uh, final URL is being considered and uh, being parsed out as the display URL. Now, it might be good from Bing's perspective, but not from our perspective because the hop link that you're going to get or the affiliate links that you're going to get are not directly in a position to be parsed out the way that they are trying to do. You see here, now they took my URL, the affiliate URL, and they try to parse it out to the path based on the delimiters that they are able to understand. Now, if I run this campaign in the expanded ads mode, there is a chance for Bing Ads team to review and reject my ad because my display URL is not the same uh, URL what my visitors are going to see when they click on this ad. Now, it might be okay. And if you are uh, comfortable enough to continue doing this and getting it reviewed, by Bing Ads. I mean, I'm not saying it will get rejected, but it may get rejected. So in, in order to avoid that hassle and also to get our affiliate commissions appropriately, we need to make sure the URLs are used in the appropriate locations. So this is what I'm going to show you right now. So I'll quickly go on to my a new campaign that I'm going to set up and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do with the expanded ads. And if you want to compare, you can review my old video that's still on in this channel. So you can take a look into that and you can come here and you can see the difference. Now let's move on to the new one. Now I'm just saying it as campaign. Now you guys know all these things, so I'm not going to go through all those. Now when I click on create ad, 
it got defaulted to expanded ads so that's fine now with expanded ads the best thing is you have more area or space to convey your message unlike the text ads in text ads we have got only uh, i think 25 characters of ad title to convey your message now with expanded ads you got that doubled basically you got 30 plus 30 60 characters and it's more informative right now so what i'm going to do uh, i have picked up a new offer called vertical jumping from clickbank so i have actually written some ad copies by for myself so i'll quickly use those ad copies and start creating this ad so let me go here okay this is what i want to start off with let me say okay Okay. Now, when it comes to the final URL, see, this is my hop link. But if I copy this hop link, uh, I'll, I'll take this one. This is the sample so that I am not going to screw it up. Now you see here, it's showing my complete uh, hop link URL here. And when visitor is clicking on this ad, he is not going to go here, right? He is not going to see this page. He is supposed to see this is the page he is supposed to see now what we'll do we'll just quickly come back here and say I'm not going to use this instead I'm going to copy this link from here and say this is the URL now if you see here this is where he's going okay now let me fill up my ad text also before I forget now you see here it's pretty cool now don't worry just click on save at this point in time we haven't given our affiliate link yet so let's save and create another so I've got two ads here I'll just finish up this process now you see I have got this ad uh, campaign so let me go into the campaign. I've got this ad group called Dank. Let me click on this Dank. Now let me go to the ads. Now when I come to the ads here, now click on edit. Now you see this URL options. Click on that URL options. And when you come here, you see something called tracking template. What you need to do is go and get your Clickbank affiliate link or any networks affiliate link put it into here now what happens is whenever Bing is processing this ad or servicing this ad this tracking template is gonna get effective when this tracking template is gonna get effective your hop link is actually being tracked in um, Clickbank so what I'm going to do I'm going to click on save and I'm going to do the same thing for my second one so you come here okay and then save it and I have my keywords and my ad is now running what I can do is uh, I'll say it as 01 because uh, I have got another campaign with vertical jumps now let me quickly go here and change my ads okay Yes. 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 so tomorrow we're gonna go to Clickbank and uh, check whether this ad has been um, tracked with this keyword or not that way we can confirm that we have no issues with our tracking now if you wanted to change any of your existing campaigns uh, from text ads to expanded ad all you need to do is go to the campaign and you will be able to see some banner like this and you just can click here or can say okay I want to use the text ad or I want to use expanded ad and if you want to use expanded ad just change the final URL here and also change the tracking template and use the hop link here or the affiliate URL that you got here so here is another campaign that I have been running in, on Clickbank itself and if you can see here the tracking template is having a TID called Bing X ad build shirt now let's come down and see how many clicks we have received for this particular campaign you see here I got six 
clicks for this particular ad group I'm not I'm sorry not for the campaign but for this particular ad now if I go to Clickbank and if I see you see here I have got six clicks exactly for this particular hop link so this itself will prove that my campaign is running perfectly fine with the link that we have used in the ads and those ads are being tracked properly under this particular TID so that itself proves that the expanded ad setup is working perfectly fine okay i hope this video has been helpful to you to some extent in case if you have any questions feel free to drop us an email or ask for any questions uh, in the comments below and also if you like this video please hit on a like button and if you want to be notified about any of the future videos and any of the latest updates uh, just hit on subscribe button you will be notified about the latest updates also please have a look at the description box for the latest information available and if you want to visit our website you can also do that by visiting the website www.onlinemoneybee.com thanks for watching cheers talk to you in the next video bye now